Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was wanting a skyline scheme of New York City. And so I made this of about three different little uh, drawings that I'd found on the internet. But I've shared it on my Corel Draw uh, Facebook face file share page under files. And if you're not ever interested in New York City, this would be very easy to manipulate and also make it even better. After I've shared it, I thought this one kind of looks like a Coke bottle. You could take all these nodes and let's do this first. Let's click on these two and go up right here to align nodes and align them horizontally. And then that put those two nodes evenly and then grab all four of these nodes and right click your mouse and hit line. So now we've got lines. Now we can take these, well, we could take all these nodes and add nodes to them. Of course, if we got nodes down here, we don't need, but that's beside the point. And actually I'm gonna take and make these align. So it's straight up and down. Don't really need these nodes in the middle. It won't really hurt you, but I'm gonna delete them. And then you could take these nodes and, and change them around. Uh, let's make sure they're all lines. So we're gonna right click and turn them into lines. That way we're gonna get uh, good lines. And let's, uh, let's set our nudge factor on something little. Let's see how wide this is. Get your uh, parallel dimension tool out and go from there to there. It's, it's less than a half of an inch. So let's set our nudge factor on 0.125. And then we'll take our nodes and we'll take this node and we're going to click it in with our right arrow button. Click that one in with your left arrow button. Don't really worry about these two yet because we can align these vertically and get more of a shape of a building. And then you could, you know, just play at will to whatever you want to do. Let's take all these nodes and move them in with the right arrow. Whoop, I grabbed all of them. Just grab the one side. And then you could actually take, well, there's a, you know what, probably the easiest thing to do, let's back up here. What I would do in this situation, whoop, put it back like that. Let's take our two point line and draw from here to here, draw a line and actually cut, smart fill this building in. So now we can probably get it over here and manipulate a little bit better. Let's move this whole thing out of the way. Let's put this in the center of the page. Let's left click, right click. And then that way, when we change one side, we can just don't have to worry about the other side. I'm gonna show you just in a second. So let's just, uh, let's align these two nodes. So vertically, um, don't really like that, but we can move that up. Take those two nodes and align them horizontally. So they're even. Then you could actually take this node and move it out. Maybe you can delete that node. You could always, you could add more to it. We can just delete that node. Let's go here and uh, align those horizontally. Maybe you can take out that node. And then what's cool about this, we only had to do one side. Our building kind of looks lopsided on this right here. Let's, let's align these vertically. There we go. Now, let's hit P. I had one node selected. Let's click, and let's just hit P, put it in the center of the page. Let's take a two-point line, hit P, put it in the center of the page. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete that side. We can delete our line now. Control D and make a duplicate. Get to that handle and move it over. Building doesn't look half bad. Go ahead and smart fill it to uh, basically seal the joints. 
And now we can left click, right click, and now we can bring it into our screen and make the model look completely different. So we can take our virtual segment delete key and just delete that, bring our building and set it anywhere in here, but a little bit past the line, take your virtual segment delete key and delete it. And then take your smart fill tool and you've completely changed the landscape. It doesn't look like a Coke bottle anymore. So the same thing could be done if you don't want to do your New York City. You could just delete. Let's just go ahead and do that. It's kind of fun. I'm going to keep that. Control D and make a duplicate. Go ahead and delete all this so we won't get confused what's real. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a two-point line and just go down here below it and then maybe you can go up and then take our virtual segment delete key and delete all that. So what we're doing is just getting rid of that landscape. And I'm gonna go ahead and smart fill it, just so we get a don't have to worry about those nodes. Smart filling welds them together basically. Now I'm gonna left click, right click, and you could do anything, add new buildings, you could cut this off if you, that's as big as you wanted it. I'm going to take that node and delete it. Um, let's say you like your new building right here. Let's take our two-point line and go from there to there. Take your Smart Fill tool, fill that in. Move it over here and actually mirror it so it doesn't look identical to that other one. Uh, you can make it shorter. Let's uh, take away the fill, give it an outline. Um, those buildings look too symmetrical and that one's actually somehow off. So you could take, let's do this, let's align these vertically. And that's when I was drawing, and then make this just a smaller building coming out. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete all that. Take your smart fill tool. Remember we put in that line so we can either just delete it and you can just keep going. Um, you know, put some of these buildings over there. Um, you know, it just, it's endless what you can do with it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.